Two days of rain interruptions meant a packed Saturday schedule at the Rogers Cup where Agnieszka Radvanska opened play against Chanel Scapers. Radvanska had barely squeaked through her second round match with Mona Bartel, but the second seed was in more in control here, moving into an early lead. <laughs> Look at that trickery from Radwanska. Scapers, currently ranked at 41, couldn't find the consistency to really trouble Radwanska from the baseline as the pole took the opening set. Yep, got her. In the second, Scapers improved and was a break in front before Radwanska won three of the last four games to book a quarter-final spot. Well, she did step it up in that game, Radwanska. A little tougher to beat. Next up was the resumption of the third round match between Alexandra Wozniak and Christina McHale. Wozniak resumed 5-2 up in the second, and although she failed to serve it out, the wild card then broke McHale to become the first Canadian to reach the Rogers Cup quarterfinals in 20 years. And she has done it! After that shaky first game, she breaks McHale and is into the quarterfinals. Former Rogers Cup champion Caroline Wozniacki played Vavara Lepchenko in another third round match to take place on Saturday. Lepchenko had lost both their previous meetings, but she got the only break of serve in the opener. Forehand into the corner. Looked very sharp for the most part of the first set. 6-4. But Wozniacki got back in it when she broke late in the second. No, that is wide. Wozniacki does break. The former world number one served out the set to level the contest. Six points in a row for Caroline Wozniacki. In the decider, both women had chances, but Wozniacki took hers to clinch a hard-fought win after two and a half hours. Comeback win for the 2010 champion, still alive in the tournament. Wozniacki and Wozniak were both back in action on Court Central again at night to play their quarterfinal match in Montreal. Wozniacki, who'd won seven of their eight past matches, came out on top of three successive breaks of serve to lead in the opening set. No matter, she breaks. The Danes trademark baseline resilience in full flow as Wozniak tried in vain to get back into the set. Oh, she got her. That was a point that Wozniak should have won. Wozniacki, looking to reach her fourth WTA semi-final of the season, won the opening set in 34 minutes. Only needs one as the forehand is wide. In the second, Wozniacki took further control when she got an early break. Caroline Wozniacki now in complete control of this match, up a set and a break. But Wozniak, roared on by a passionate home crowd, broke straight back. Well, I was just going to say that patterns very, very familiar from Wozniak going cross court backhand, cross court forehand, needs to change it up a little bit. And boom, there's the forehand down the line. Wozniak was now firmly back in the match, the second set in the balance as the Canadian profited from intelligent moves into the forecourt. <laughs> what a point there! But just when she needed to, Wozniacki broke for a 4-3 lead. Really has tightened up in this second set. Wozniak kept battling right until the end, and Wozniacki needed six match points before she eventually closed it out in a little under two hours to reach the final four in Montreal.
Finally, on match point number six, Caroline Wozniacki puts away the Canadian. Alexandra Wozniak 